वेलकम टू स्मोकी चैनल हेलो यूट्यूब दिस इज स्मोकी फ्रॉम स्मोकी चैनल एंड टुडे टुडे वी कैन टू अनबॉक्स द गोप्रो खर्मा एंड लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द गोप्रो खर्मा सो when gopro announced the karma drone it came along with a package with a drone karma grip and this gimbal and the backpack and everything and i bought that and i did an unboxing and video and flew the flew the gopro karma drone and everything but as everybody knows it's got recalled then I I lost the gimbal and everything with it. I have a different gimbal for GoPro but it only works with the Hero 4 and 3 3 plus. So right now I don't have a gimbal with this. So I said, okay, so I will just go ahead and buy the Karma grip and uh, after I have bought um, Phantom and all those things, I think I pretty much I'm done with buying any more of uh, Uh, drones so even gopro comes back with their gopro karma grip i don't think karma drone i think i pretty much will pass <coughs> i don't want to keep telling why because everybody should know why i would pass because that drone needs rehaul they need to overhaul the drone because for today's uh, technology and the level everybody is using it it's way behind right now but i think at least the gopro karma grip is useful so one thing i notice is it's a easy packaging to open and it comes with uh, all the manuals and the case is really good this is a good case and you can see it's already sealed so that you know that nobody opened it so that's a good sign i like to buy unsealed items if i know it's a it's a open box i don't want to buy something that thinking brand new and it is and it is open no i rather no so so there's a hump on this box that's where they can hold it but this is a nice case so it's really good So if you look at it here so we have gimbal itself and with the Hero 5 harness they call it and without well, before it is turned on it's just going to hang like dead and it already has a lanyard hooked up so it's 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 pretty good feeling in the hand <coughs> and then you know the gimbal itself uh, the the idea behind this whole thing was this was supposed to this was supposed to be removable and put it on to the gopro karma drone now it's not the case anymore so it comes on its own so you had to twist this grip to unlock so you can remove and you put this on the gopro karma drone but now that it's not there there's no need to unlock this anymore at some point in life it's going to come right the gopro the karma drone but i have no interest right now with that so they had the money they had our money at the time they should have done a good job my pro my only gripe is how many test how many people tested those things they spent like two or uh, two years developing it and they couldn't figure out they didn't find out any problem as soon as it came to the consumer immediately there's a problem and you know who's going to believe that so here is the <coughs> here is the grip and you just open like this so GoPro Hero 5. So you will get this gimbal for Hero 5, and uh, you'll get for uh, Hero 4. So you had to make sure when you buy, 
which one you buy because they both have different harness otherwise you will be spending a little bit extra to buy that so when you want to put it so you have to remove the side door because side door basically has to hook up here so you just pull that one and then you slide your camera here and push it in oh I shouldn't be turning it on so you push it in then you're in just lock it down so now the hero 5 is hanging there right see that so now let's go and power it on so there's a button here power button I hope it is charged I have no idea if it's charged or not it has how much power it has I don't see any power probably it needs a charge yes these things all need charge and th this gimbal will power the hero camera as well so I'm trying to turn on okay this okay you press the red button red ring here then the gimbal comes to life so you all can see now I can go like this like this pretty much go left go right go left go right you see and then you can go like this like this the camera pretty stable it stays right there <clears throat> and on the gimbal you have mode button then tagging button and the record button then you can just push this button and then okay that's turn off that's a bummer okay so turned on let's try again so which one is going to power on So you lock the gimbal in one position, unlock maybe. So it's turned off now, turned on. It's a little weird, it's turning off and on with different different buttons. Oh, okay. Because GoPro Karma turns on with the record button or with this button, okay. Let's go and see if, if it can record anything. It's weird that it's not on. The camera is not on. Do I? I have to check if I have to turn on the camera myself. That the whole point was this turns on by itself. Okay. Gimbal came to life. So the camera doesn't turn on by pushing the red button but let me turn on the camera from the side so the camera is turned on let's see if it can record so it says USB connected so you should get the power from here and I'm trying to see if it can record video I don't see pushing the red button records I thought that was the whole point that's a tagging button works I don't see the record button working for me okay that takes a picture okay the mode is in photo mode no no it's in the so it takes a picture though why doesn't it? Oh, okay, now it's recording. I have no idea what the deal is. So I change the mode. Okay, now it's working. Whatever it was. So now we are in video mode. So I'm going to push record. I don't see it recording by pushing the red button but it takes picture the 
the gimbal works but I don't see the record but oh uh, what's going on change the mode in the mode in the mode video we are in video mode doesn't send the record command hmm? you see that it doesn't record for whatever reason but it takes picture though when it's in picture I click this so it takes a picture like photo and why it doesn't record it's supposed to record No, it keeps taking picture. Okay, let's hold and keep. Let's see. My mode kept changing to photo mode. We are in video camera mode. It doesn't record for me for whatever reason. Thought I was supposed to be able to start and stop and everything. No idea. We're gonna check. Let me read the instructions. Now we go back to the instructions. So I finally found out what the problem is. Finally I found the problem is. So it was not, uh, when I pushed the button record, it was not recording, the gimbal was not recognizing the camera. It was not, it was taking the picture but not, it was recording. So I went and looked it up. So I had to update the software for the GoPro Hero 5 and then it will work. So I tried that. Now you can see it starts recording, stops recording. So that's about it. So that's all it needs. And now you can see it works. It's good. So this mode is tagging. So when you do the update, you can do a manual update. You just have to download a file to your SD card unzip the file put the SD card turn on the turn on the uh, GoPro camera it will just do the update and it will show you success and you're done after that it works like a champ I'm glad I don't have to go and return this you know, or call the support and do all that stuff I'll add a little bit more video walking outside stable with and without that way you know you guys can see the difference and and also what what we'll do is we have let's do the ring addition because the ring is pretty good because that's what I need because I can mount so GoPro is coming up with another accessory where you can actually where you can actually add the what is that called um, the wire to this gimbal and mount it mount somewhere far and then you take that wire connect to the handle so you have a little bit of like a telephone old telephone wires that curly wires will be there then you can actually use that but you know what i found that's too funny i don't want to use that way instead i will mount the whole camera with this gimbal and turn it on and I have uh, you can just buy the remote for the GoPro you should just probably use that remote and that way with the remote you can turn it on talk whatever so let's see so this it goes only one way then you tighten this thing then that's it everything is snug and tight that's what somebody said 
wish these things are a little bit better snap fit than being this as tight. Mm. See that? Not okay. Oops, I didn't lock it at all. Yeah. Let's unlock this guy. The ring is there. So you can see there is a C C type charger inside because it has a battery, then just face that one and then trying to lock this. Yeah, I don't want to mess my camera up. Hmm. It's so tight. Yeah, somebody said that too. It's a very snug fit. Why would they do something like that? And the thing is, I'm not sure even with the ring, you can actually mount it easily. No, I cannot turn this tight. Let's see what we can do. So that's it. This is like that bicycle thingy. Clamp. I don't want to mess up the gimbal doing all these stupid things. Okay, I want it in the back. Let's put it. Okay. So right now, there. So let's face this. Let's face this battery. So it's very snug. And it's not that easy to put it on. I cannot get it tight at all. Okay, I'm going to look it up, research, because I don't want to mess anything here. Why would they do anything like this? Gosh, GoPro, do they even do their own tests for, for now people who is now working in the factory? So here are the, some of the uh, things you can see from this gimbal. Right now, it's turned off. So it doesn't, uh, you know, it, it just hangs like it's dead, right? So you go ahead and push this mode button. So you can see gimbal coming alive. And what it does is, it does make sure that it turns on the camera as well. So here's the tip. If you guys bought this Hero GoPro Hero 5 as soon as it came, when you use the record button it wouldn't record i had the same issue so you have to download and update the firmware for the gopro hero 5 session and then you will be able to uh, use it uh, otherwise it won't work and another tip the ring when you put it it only goes in one, you, you can put it in either ways but it won't lock here so you have to Put it only in one way then if you have difficulty locking then reverse the ring and put it and make sure that when you put it this mount what you have right right here with the regular gopro mount put this towards the handle side so that way you can mount onto like into a backpack like this or you know like put a shoe mount and mount onto it and you know whatever those two fingers thing so uh, the coolest thing if you see right now it's turned on so you can shake however you want <coughs> it's pretty stable and when you do go like this it goes like this when you go like this it stays straight so it's pretty neat actually and one more thing is you can turn around the camera towards facing you say for doing a selfie video or something and you can keep going this far 
and then after that it'll stay there but you can use your hand like and if you go farther the camera will tilt but the thing is here's the coolest thing it will tilt and it'll tell the GoPro camera to turn its orientation upside down so even the camera is upside down and automatically it changes its orientation so it faces the right way up and then when you when you bring it back when you flip it again it automatically flips inside also so this is one of the thing I did not see from many things so what I found in other Osmo or something is that it has a fish tracking so when you do the when a person moves or an object moves at the tracking feature the cam the gimbal also turns that way but you don't have that feature here so here's another thing when you want to put this mount say for bicycle handlebar or something so you just do this and so it flips but at the same time video gets flipped too so and you have a mount here so just mount it on the handlebar like this so that way you can actually you know you will have a stable footage plus the right way up so that's it so that's a pretty neat it takes a long time to charge this battery so always make sure you just charge it overnight and it takes like it I think you can use like a couple of hours what happens is like this battery actually powers GoPro as well so it this one depletes the battery but it's not worthy even if GoPro has a battery fully charged your gimbal doesn't have then you have to remove the GoPro and just use it with the regular hand there's some level of there is some level of uh, um, video stabilization like um, electronic EIS electronic image stabilization built into a GoPro so you will get some stabilization but if you want to use it like on the bicycle or some action sports where you have to run then probably gimbal is the right way to go so I think uh, overall I like the product it comes fully packaged it's I wish I had it with the GoPro Karma drone right now it doesn't it's not there so we just end up with the, this one so let me go ahead and uh, put some video just walking around fast and you know that way you all know how it works so right now I'm holding in my hand and walking like fast I'm even running and uh, you can see the camera is very stable and I'm tilting the camera left and right left and right going front back front back and now making a selfie and then tilt the camera backwards and it automatically oriented itself so that's what i'm saying this one has some good features which i like and now again back to selfie and turn it wrong i'm walking and the video is very stable so I think overall it's a good product it's worth buying and it can mount onto your backpack like you know with a shoe mount and all that and and the whole day when you're walking around take some videos this is a good tool to have thanks for watching Smokey's video subscribe to my channel I'll be posting more videos thank you so much